all right all right in today's lesson we're gonna be looking at theorem number two which says the angle which an arc of a circle subtends at the center of a circle is twice the angle it subtends at the circumference of the circle so angle at center is two times the angle at the circumference as we can see here we are given angle c at the circumference which is x but then we can see angle o here at the center is 2x which confirms that an angle at the center will be twice an angle that is at the circumference so in today's lesson we're just going to be looking at activities that are based on this theorem so then okay it says given o is the center of the circle determine the unknown angle in each of the following diagrams so in diagram number one we can see that we are given here an angle we are looking for angle b which is at the center but we are given an angle at the circumference right now let's see remember the 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 theorem says these angles have to be subtended by the same arc or chord right so if we can check here we can see that hk is an arc here which it subtends an angle at the center b and also i hk when you hold hk so hold this point here when we hold this point, we can see that they subtend an angle here at the center and also they subtend an angle here at the circumference. So an angle at the center will be twice the angle at the circumference, meaning B will be equals to 90 degrees. And the reason is angle at center is equals to 2 times angle at circumference. Right then okay let's look at this one again here we can see our arc is jh arc jh so we hold arc jh and then we can see that jh is subtending an angle at the center which is 45 degrees and then holding jh we can see that it subtends an angle at the circumference which is c right now an angle at the center has to be twice an angle at the circumference meaning this angle here since it's on the circumference it has to be half the angle that we find at the center so it's 22.5 degrees and the reason is still the same you say angle at center is equals to two times angle at circumference so you don't you you don't change the reason it remains like that then three let's hold our arc so here we have arc hk so hk so we can see that hk is subtending an angle here at the circumference which is equal to 100 degrees but then it subtends an angle d here which is an exterior angle right now do not be confused as to say this is a cyclic quad it is not a cyclic quad because this point here is not on the circumference right it's at the center so now we say an angle at the center will be two times an angle at the circumference so d is equals to 200 degrees and then the reason is angle at center is equals to two times angle at circumference okay then number four we can see that jk in this case here will be a diameter so if we hold jk chord jk we can see that this is a special chord a diameter right but then there's something that we know about the uh, about a diameter is that it will subtend an angle of 90 degrees on the circumference right so an angle subtended by a diameter is always 90 degrees also another way to look at it based on this theorem that we are doing is that here we have 180 degrees and then this is an angle at the center angle at the center has to be two times an angle at the circumference so if we have 180 degrees at the center then we must have 90 degrees here on the circumference so we can say jhk is equals to 90 degrees and then we say angles angle on a semicircle right so this is angle on a semicircle since it is subtended by a diameter right now that we have now that we have 90 degrees and the 30 35 degrees here we can calculate um angle e 
So by saying E plus 90 degrees plus 35 degrees will give us 180 degrees. So we are using the fact that JHK is a triangle, right? So we say sum of interior angles of triangle, right? Then our E in this case will now be equals to 180 minus 90 minus 35, which will give us E is equals to 55 degrees, right? Then last one, uh, let's calculate F, right? So to calculate F here, again here, do not be confused. This are not a, a opposite angles of a cyclic quad because this is not a cyclic quad. We can see that this point here does not touch the circumference. So this is not a cyclic quad. In order to calculate this one, we'd have to use the fact that if we just look at this, we can see that this I angles around a point and then they should give us 360 degrees. So if we can name this O1 and we name this point, this exterior angle here O2, we understand that adding angle O1 and, and O2 must give us 360 degrees. So it is allowed to manipulate and add uh, your numbers like that. So we say angles, angles around a point, right? So this is angles around a point. Then O2, O2 will be equals to 240 degrees, right? In this case, so because O1 is 120 degrees, so 360 minus 120, that's 240. Now that we have 240 here, let's add it here. So we have 240. We can see that if we hold a uh, arc or chord JK, JK, we can see that it subtends an angle O2 there at the center, but also it subtends an angle here at the circumference, which is F, right? So we understand that an angle at the center has to be twice the angle at the circumference, so F has to be 120 degrees. So it's half that because it's at the circumference. So we say the reason is angle at center, so still the same reason, angle at center is equals to two times angle at circumference. Awesome.